I'm gonna tell you a little story and I know for a fact that this has happened to you at some point or another. You're texting someone that you're really interested in. It's going well, you're texting back and forth, things are good, and then all of a sudden, you send a text and you never hear back from them. So you start doubting yourself, you know, you start questioning your text. What did I send? What happened? You start questioning your actions. You start wondering if this person even likes you. Well, yeah, that happens to everyone, but it doesn't have to because today we're going over five important rules that you need to keep in mind when texting someone that you like. Rule number one is using proper grammar and spelling. Now, you may have noticed that I misspelled the word grammar on the text of rule number one. And my guess is you thought it was super cringy. And it was. So here is the proper way of spelling grammar. If you want a girl with more than just good looks, then you should be spelling things correctly when you text. Otherwise, you're gonna look pretty bad and she's gonna think it's cringy just like you thought my text on screen was cringy. No, you don't have to spell every single word out, all right? It doesn't have to be an essay, you don't have to be boring, you can abbreviate, you can use slangs, but be really careful with misspelling common words like there and there, then and then. Those can be tough, so take a second to spell check your text. It doesn't hurt to check and confirm, and it could save you from looking bad to the girl that you're trying to impress. Even me, when I get texts from girls that are misspelled, I'm like, I don't know about this. I'm a perfectionist. I don't think this is going to work out. So pay attention to what you're writing. Guys, also real quick, I've been posting a lot on Instagram, a lot on IGTV, and if you want help or need help with your outfits, with your hairstyle, grooming ideas, you should definitely check out my Instagram. It is at Alex Costa. I love posting there and helping you guys out. You can find cool outfits for dates, interviews, whatever you're looking for. I'm gonna leave a link to my Instagram in the description below so you can go and check it out and not have to stand in front of your closet trying to find the outfit for your date. Rule number two is keeping her schedule in mind. Listen to her when she says, hey, I'm busy this day, this time, I work from this time to that time. Listen to her when she's talking to you about how she spends her time. This is gonna be very useful in the long run because once you know how she spends her day, then you're gonna learn when the best time is to text her and possibly even to ask her out. Don't panic if she doesn't text you back right away. You never know what someone's going through. You know, if someone's busy, if someone's going through a hard time, you don't know. And you definitely don't wanna come off as this desperate, annoying person because that's gonna push her away. Next up guys, don't be too sarcastic. Sarcasm is easily misinterpreted through text. You know, you can joke sarcastically about something and it may be funny to you, but if the other person, right, on the other side doesn't get it, it is not funny. It's bad. Being sarcastic in person is usually fine, but over text, that's a gamble. That's gonna be pretty difficult. If she is unsure of whether you're being sarcastic or not, she's gonna show her friends. She's gonna be like, what do you guys think of this? Is, what does he mean with, by this text message? You know, and they're gonna give her their opinions and then it's not up to her anymore to decide, and then there's drama. Trust me, you don't want drama with her and her friends. Be straightforward on text, all right? Be funny if you want, be goofy, but not too sarcastic because that can backfire real quick. Rule number four, guys, don't answer right away if you're busy. I hate this rule. I think if you like someone, then of course you're gonna answer pretty quickly. You're happy, you're excited, you want to talk to that person all the time. But one thing I know is, Texting back right away can actually make you look like you're on your phone 24 seven. It can make you look like you got nothing else to do, that you're desperate, or it can make you look like you're too attached. Don't forget guys, texting doesn't mean that you're dating. You can be texting all day long, 24 seven, but it does not mean that you're dating. You don't want to be seen as clingy. This is what I would suggest, all right? Take into account how often and how quickly she's texting you back, but try to control the pace. If she's taking too long to answer, then just reply to her text like within just a few minutes, just once, just to see what she does. You know, is she gonna text you back right away again or is she still gonna continue to take really long to answer you again and again? If she does that, she's playing games and you're gonna have to slow down a little bit. If she answers you back right away, she's down to speed up this process, you know, and, and you can text her back freely without having to wait without having to time it, which in my opinion, it is just pointless. Speaking of being too clingy, don't text 
back to back to back to back. You don't want to annoy her with back to back texts. Like, you know, like we said before, she might, but she might be too busy. You know, she could be driving or you text something and then she doesn't answer it. And you're like, maybe I'll just text something else, text something else, text her back again. Be like, yo, you there, you up, what's going on? Did you get my text? You don't want to put the pressure on someone to answer you. Nobody likes that pressure on them. There's literally no point. If she sees that one text, she'll probably see all of them. If she, does, if she sees all of them, she's going to see your first one. Text her once. And if you want to change your mind about something, fine, but don't be desperate. Don't look like you're, you're really trying to get her attention because trust me, that can backfire and it's gonna look like you're desperate. It's gonna look like you're annoying and nagging. Also guys, if you text her and text her back and she doesn't answer, let me give you a bonus tip. Don't be the first one to call her. It's 2020. The reality is 99% of girls, 99% of people don't like being called. People like to text way better. It's a lot easier to do. You can do it from anywhere. You can be in a meeting, for example. I know you shouldn't be texting a meeting, but you could text back without being, you know, without disturbing the meeting, for example. So try to avoid calling and try to go for texts unless you really want to talk for a long time, then I would say call her out. Guys, don't forget to check out my Instagram. It's listed in the description below. It is at Alex Costa and I post it pretty much every single day. I try to give you guys as many outfit ideas as possible, travel inspiration and much more. And of course, if you learn something new from this video, if you're going to use this when you text the girl of your dreams next, please hit the subscribe button below so you can learn more and more from the YouTube channel. We have a growing YouTube channel family here, almost 3 million, not really, 2.4, 2 getting there, getting there. The goal is 3, millions in, 3 million in 2020. So help me achieve the goal. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you again very soon. Peace.